Hey guys, so happy new year everyone and we will start 2025 by creating new blend space for running with weapon and also standing idle with weapon. So we don't have just the default one because it doesn't look very good and your weapon is overlapping with the character when he's running. So there will be two animation that I included in the link on, in the description of this video. So it's 200 idle animation, which is this one and also 200 running forward so download it import it uh, it's already retargeted so you just need to select sk mannequin and after you have done that we can just open your open our animation blueprint so i'm just going to do it through the player open player bp and in the mesh we just search for abp money one thing I'm actually going to do is duplicate this, so Ctrl and D, and make a backup. So this one will be back up, just in case, because we will be doing quite a lot of changes later. So if we mess something up, we can always copy it from the backup. So open ABP money, and in here we want to go to Event Graph first. I'm going to close this. And what we want to do is get the combat type from the player and we also want to check if the weapon is equipped. So from cast to player blueprint we're going to get gameplay tags. In gameplay tags we're going to check if it has tag. This one will be character, checks and weapon equipped. We're going to do exact match and then we can promote this to variable. And this one, this one will be called Weapon Equipped. Connect it here. So this will be switching since it's looping. So every time we switch it, it will switch here in the Anim Blueprint as well. And we need one more, which is Combat Type. So again, we can drag from the player. We can get Current Combat Type, which will be the Combat Type of the weapon we have equipped. And we're also going to promote it to variable. And this one can be just combat type. And now we do have these two variables. Let's go to AnimGraph. We can open Locomotion. And in here, first we're going to do idle state. So double click to open it. And here we need to drag this bug. We can disconnect it. And first, we, what we want to do is change the animation based on the combat type. So what weapon we are currently equipping. For that, we need to do blend uh, per bone, not blend per bone. What am I doing? Blend poses. Blend poses and just type in combat type because we need to find this combat type enumerator. And it will come up. So blend pose is combat type enumerator. Connect it to result. And here you can see we don't have the actual combat types from the enumerator. But if we right click, they are all here. We just need to add them. So add no weapon. 100, 200 weapon and shield. And dual wield and also bow. Uh, so here we can just connect the different type idle animations but we also want to check if the weapon is equipped otherwise we don't want to do this whole thing so for that let's do blend poses by bool so by boolean and active value is going to be this weapon equipped connected here and if the weapon is equipped we need to do this part that will be true and if it's false, we can just play regular idle animation. We don't have to change anything here on the blend poses by bull itself. But here, when we actually have weapon equipped, we can connect different idle animations. For now, we only have 200 one. And I'll explain again why I'm doing only one at a time. It is because if 
I connect different idle poses and running poses and animation for attacking. It would take really long time if I need to add, uh, for example, anim notifies or anything like that. So I don't want to edit all of it on the video. First, we will do basic combat system. And once it's done, we will add the rest of them. Or if you have some uh, animation yourself, like idle poses or running ones, you can add it here. For now, I'm just adding the 200. So drag in 200 idle and it will go to default pose, which won't happen because default, we can't actually remove it, I think. It is always here, but you need to connect something. So we'll connect 200 idle, but it will never happen because it will be based on this combat type. So connect it here. So it, it will be only either one of these. Uh, no weapon, I don't think it can happen again because we need to have weapon equipped. But we still need to connect 200 idle. Add it here. And since you can't actually connect two in the same one, you need to just duplicate them. So it will be 200 for all of the weapons for now. And as I said, I will add rest of the idle animations later. But now we have it connected. So this is the setup, compile and save. And now when we actually equip weapon and we stop moving, so equip it, we are playing 200 idle animation, okay? And now what we want to do is also change the running one. So when the character is running, we want to do different one. So let's go to running blueprint again, go back to locomotion, open walk and run. And here we need to change a few things as well. So I'm going to disconnect this. And then here we need to also check if the weapon is equipped. So we're going to do blend poses by bull. And again, connect weapon equipped. False, it's going to go to regular walk and run. But if it's true, we need to again do blend poses and just type in combat type. Enumerator, right click, we need to add all of these weapons or weapon types. Connect it to true pose, and then we need different blend space. Okay, so we do have this blend space, which looks like this. It's only 1D blend space, and at the moment the character is walking on a spot here on speed 0. Here is walking, and here is running, and then we also have a sprint setup that we added ourselves. So we need to create something similar. Let's go to third person animations, and we can only create the 200 one. So right click here, search for blend space, do blend space 1D, select SK mannequin, or your skeleton that you are using, but for me it's SK mannequin, and this one will be 200 underscore BS for blend space. Open it up. And here we need to change the speed. I'm going to quickly check what the speed of the character is when he's running, because we also have sprint. So max walk speed is 500. So we need to set up something like 600. So maximum axis value is going to be 600. And then we don't have walking on a spot yet, but we don't really need it for now. We're just going to check 200 idle and we're going to place it on speed zero. So when he's not moving, he will go to idle. Um, then we need a walk in one. So just in case we are overweight while holding weapon and we don't have one, so we need to create it. So right click or just duplicate this run forward. And this one, this one we will rename to walk forward. So 200 underscore walk underscore forward FWD. 
and open it up and we just need to change the rate scale to like 0 0.5 and this will be walking. I know it's not perfect animation because it's kind of running but it won't happen that often that we're actually using this. And as I said, I will be doing a whole pack of the animations we are using because some of them needs to be retargeted. You will see it on the hands as well that he's not holding the two hander very well. Like the arms needs to be on top of the other and not like this next to each other. So for now, just save all and go back to blend space. So we need to open it again, 200 blend space. And now we need to add walk. That will be on the second one. We can also snap to grid, check it so it's true. So that's walking and we need also running. And we will add running here and running here. I think I'm going to actually uncheck the snap to grid because I want to move this to like 500. So up to 500 will always be running. But anything after that, we're going to search for sprint. So it's the sp same sprint we have for blend space without weapon. But it actually looks good because your weapon is not overlapping your body when it's running, so when it's sprinting. So that's pretty much it. So idle here, then you got walk forward, then you got run forward, run forward, and anything after 500 will be sprint. Save all. And now back in the animation blueprint, we can just connect it here. So get the blend space. We need to connect speed. So in essential movement data, you do have ground speed. And then for now, we just need to connect it to every single pulse. And I'll say it once more. If you have your own animation and you can create some blend space, you only need to basically have an animation for running forward. You can connect it already. Or you can wait until I finish basic setup of the combat system and then we will add the rest. Uh, don't forget to connect the active inium value. So get combat type and it goes here. Compile and save. And now if you play the game and equip weapon. I do have 200 idle, but when I'm running, I'm also running with a weapon. All right, when I'm sprinting, I'm sprinting like this and I'm running with a weapon. Cool, so that looks much better. And later on, as I said, when we add more weapons, we will have like a weapon and shield. Bow one is going to have different, 200 is going to run differently stuff but for now we only got 200 one and that is pretty much in it for this video and i'll see you in the next one